What is up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my top five picks of the best smartphones under $250. Now if you'd like to purchase any smartphone on this list at any point in time during this video, all the links will be provided for you in the description down below. So if you guys wanna go ahead and pick one up, you guys can go ahead and use my Amazon affiliate links and that does actually help out the channel. Also, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be a part of the tech gang and uh, turn on the notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload. Without further ado, these are my top five picks of best smartphones under $250 in 2018. Stay tuned. <laughs> Coming in at number 5 is the Blue Vivo 8. The Blue Vivo 8 on this list is offered at $199.99 on Amazon.com. Basically this is an all metal and glass body so it is a very very premium device for $200 as far as the build goes. And the specifications that are on this phone are actually pretty amazing for the price. Now we have GSM on here, we have a 5.5 inch Full HD screen, 13 megapixel main, 16 megapixel front, 64 gigabytes of internal storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. We also have 2 gigahertz octa-core processor, Android 7.0 Nougat, and a huge 4010 milliamp battery. For our processor, we also have the MediaTek Helio P10 chipset, and we can also expand the memory via micro SD card. This is definitely an amazing choice if you need a phone right under the $200 price range. Coming in at number 4 it has to be the Honor 7X and this is also rocking an 18 by 9 aspect ratio and we do have a 5.93 inch full view display. Now the display does come in at 2160 by 1080 p so we are getting a full HD panel on this display so it's a very very huge up for 200 bucks. We also have a dual camera setup with 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel rear facing camera and we also have a pretty long lasting battery at 3340 milliamps. And this phone we are also offered the 3 gigabytes of ram 2.36 gigahertz octa core and we do have the kirin 659 processor and we are running mui 5.1 on this as well we also have an all metal and glass build on this phone as well and this is why it comes in at number four Coming in at number 3 has to be the Moto G5 Plus, the 5th generation of the Moto series. Now this is going to be a 32GB internal storage, but if you guys are looking for a phone that is pretty much stock Android, then you're looking in the right direction. For the third time in a row, we are also getting an all metal design on this phone, so we are grading that premium fill as well. And for the specifications on this device, we do have a 5.2 inch Full HD 1080p screen, we have a 420 4 PPI, Corning Gorilla Glass 3, a 12 megapixel main, 5 megapixel front, Android 7.0 Nougat. We also have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor clocked in at 2 gigahertz. And for our GPU, we also have the Adreno 506, so this is going to be perfect for your gaming. This phone also offers turbo charging, so if you guys are always running out of battery on your current device, then this offers very, very fast charging. You will get 6 hours of battery life in just 15 minutes which is actually pretty awesome and we also have one of the fastest fingerprint sensors I've ever seen on a device next to the Huawei Mate SE that is uh, but this device is really nice and I've been using it for a while actually and it's one of my favorite devices to be honest do keep in mind that the 64 gigabyte storage and the 4 gigabyte RAM variant is unavailable right now so if you guys want to go ahead and purchase this I would probably go ahead and get it second hand on eBay or something but for right now we still have that 32 gigabyte storage plus 2 gigabytes of RAM which I think is still a pretty damn good steal for $205 and that's why it comes in at number three. Now coming in at number two, there is no surprise here. This is a beautiful, beautiful phone. We have the new G3 and this is a 5.7 inch phone. We have 64 gigabytes of internal storage and four gigabytes of RAM as well as a dual SIM GSM. And this is a fully unlocked phone as well. Now, as I said before, we do have 64 gigabytes of internal storage in this device, but we also have 256 gigabytes that we can go ahead and expand via micro SD card. This phone also offers NFC and for $200 that is actually pretty damn crazy. And as you guys know, if you saw any reviews or unboxing on this phone, we do have that new 18x9 aspect display that all of these companies are using. And this is HD+, so we do have a 720p plus panel. 
You can also unlock your smartphone using facial recognition or your fingerprint sensor on the back of the device. We also have quick charge on this as well with a 3000 milliamp battery that will pretty much last you the whole day. But I think the number one aspect of this device is that it is a beautiful, beautiful phone. Like honestly, if this branding wasn't here with new, I would have thought it was a Galaxy S9. It looks so similar, it looks premium, and it feels premium as well. The only downside of this phone is that we do have type c so that's a positive but the thing is we have to have a little cord around if we want to go ahead and plug our headphone jack in because this does not come with an on body head jack but this device is absolutely amazing and it only comes in at 200 bucks that is why it comes in at number two now coming in at number one there is no surprise here you guys do know i absolutely love this phone and just coming in at 250 dollars we have the huawei mate se factory unlocked 5.93 inch device 64 gigabytes internal storage and we do have an octa core processor on this as well we have a 60 megapixel plus 2 megapixel dual rear facing camera and this does come in gold or the gray version also, if you guys did not know, this does have a amazing body. It is all glass and metal design, and it just looks absolutely amazing, honestly. We also have an awesome 8 megapixel front facing camera. We have flexible dual SIM capacity, so we can put two nano SIM cards inside of here. And we do have endurance powered by a 3340 milliamp battery. And this battery is absolutely awesome. I have been getting a day and a half with moderate use on this device, and it's been amazing so far. We also have that 18 by 9 aspect display. Speaking of the screen, the screen's colors are absolutely amazing. It has a edge to edge display and this is an 18 to by 9 aspect ratio so we're still keeping that modern design with the screen. And yeah, this is just an all around amazing phone guys. If you guys want to go ahead and check this out, I will put all the links in the description. But yeah, this is an absolutely amazing phone. That is why it comes in at number 1. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope I led you on to some new phones. If you guys are not a part of the tech gang, definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. But yeah, without a further review, I'm going to go ahead and head out and sign out. This has been Stefan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.